Yo, what up guys, my name is Freddy, Swift Style Garcia, and welcome back to the channel. All right, so on the bench today, we have the all new Jesse Dean Design Portable Tone Arm Kit. And this video is dedicated to showing you the proper steps at getting this bad boy installed in your PTO one scratch. So let's go ahead and take a look at what comes inside the box. All right, so the first thing we have here is the all new Jesse Dean Power Board. Now in the bag you have two separate cables and your power board. Let me give you a closer look at that. Next up we have the all new Jesse Dean Phono Preamp. Now there's two screws in here, so make sure you don't misplace those. Here's a closer look at that. One thing that I definitely appreciate about this preamp is it already has a mounting bracket and some holes. There is a specific spot in the PTO one that this will mount directly to. And of course, the man of the hour, Jesse Dean Tone Arm. So Jesse released two versions of this. This is the glossy carbon fiber. There's also one with a matte finish. All right, so let's go over the tools that you're gonna need in order to properly install this. All right, so I have a small set of precision screwdrivers. The only ones that you're really gonna be using is this 1.4 millimeter flathead and possibly the bigger flathead. So let's go ahead and put that to the side. I've got a set of needle nose pliers, a Phillips head screwdriver, and last but not least, we have a soldering iron and some solder. Now, if you're new to soldering, don't let that thing intimidate you. We've only got a few points that we need to desolder and solder. And if you don't already own a soldering iron or any of these other tools, I'll go ahead and drop some links down below where you can find them. Now, this last piece is not a tool, but it's definitely something good to have on your workbench. It's a magnetic tray to hold all your screws. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and move this iron out of the way so I don't burn myself. All right, so for the first step, we need to uninstall the original tone arm and replace it with the new one. So let's get started by flipping this over and taking out the eight base screws. All right, so now we have all of our base screws. All right, so we're gonna carefully take this bottom end out. On this side, we're gonna unplug this black ribbon. Now on the opposite side, we're gonna to need to unplug a few more cables. Now this specific PTO one scratch has already been fit with the Jesse Dean Ultra Pitch and a Jesse Dean Start Stop. So I'll need to carefully unplug that piece and also this red and white audio cable. After that is unplugged, you can separate the bottom piece from the top. And I'll go ahead and put this to the side for now. Now that we have this opened up, I'm gonna desolder the original tone arm wires off this board. By heating up that existing solder, you can see we have a clean break right off the board. All right, so next up with our needle nose pliers, we're gonna take this nut off the bottom of the original tone arm. Once you get that loose enough, you can just unscrew it. Now we need to carefully remove this switch lever. And I think the easiest way to remove this is just to slowly unscrew it. Now we need to pop off that E-clip. You can do that with a small flathead screwdriver. There's that. All right, so that tone arm should now be loosened up and ready to come out. Let's go ahead and flip this over. And there's the old tone arm. Now the old tone arm has a washer at the very bottom. We're gonna need to take that off and put it on the Jesse Dean tone arm. All right, so let's unscrew the nut off the Jesse Dean tone arm, put it to the side. There's a clip on here. We're gonna pop that off and put it to the side. Now let's add that washer that we removed onto here. Carefully feed these cables through. Slide that tone arm in place. Let's go ahead and lock it down for now. All right, so I always put the top back on when I need to flip it over, even if I don't latch it in, mainly so I don't mess up any of the components on the top side. So now that we have it flipped over, let's snap on Jesse's E-clip. Do that with the help of some needle nose pliers. Now we need to put the switch lever back on. Obviously we need to feed the cables through it first. And then you can just screw that right back on. Let's add the new nut and tighten that up a bit. 
All right, so our next step is installing the Phono preamp. We're gonna start by unscrewing these two washer head screws. All right, so now we're gonna take the Phono preamp with the capacitors facing out. We're gonna screw this down right where we took those other screws out with the supplied screws. Do not use those washer head screws. They will definitely crack this board. All right, so for our next step, we need to get underneath this control board. There are four screws around the edges we need to remove. All right, so our next step, we need to remove capacitors C8 and C18. They're labeled right next to the capacitor. Now you can either snip these out or desolder them. Let me go ahead and start with C18. There's one. The second one is C8. So what I'm doing is I'm taking my needle nose pliers and holding the capacitor at one end and just basically heating up the other end so I can lightly pull it out. And here's the second one. Now provided in the box is this cable that goes right into your preamp, but first we need to solder this to the board in the place of those capacitors. Now your white cable will solder in the place of C8 and the red cable will solder in the place of C18. All right, so now that we have that point soldered, let's go ahead and screw this board back down. And if you didn't already notice, I am definitely not a pro when it comes to soldering. That's why I said earlier not to be discouraged because they're really simple solder points and I knew it wasn't gonna be a problem. All right, so the cable that we just got done soldering, we're gonna go ahead and slide that in to the end of our preamp. Now we need to connect our tone arm wires. This is where you'll need your precision screwdriver. I'm gonna use the 1.4 millimeter for this. And that's gonna go right here on this green block on the preamp. Now we've got three cables on here. Your white is your left channel, your ground here in the center, and the red indicates your right. And those will be labeled right here on the board. All right, so for this next step, we're gonna to need to access the power board, which is on the base of the system. So let's go ahead and move this one out of the way for now. Now you need to start by unplugging this red and white cable right off the power board. Okay, so now we're gonna take the Jesse Dean power board and mount it directly onto this board. We're gonna start by unscrewing this screw here. We're gonna place this board right where that screw hole was and tighten that back up. Now the last cable that we were provided with is actually going into the Phono preamp. So we're gonna take this end of it and go right into this new power board. We'll just latch that in right here at the end. All right, so the last cables that we need to connect are this power board right into our Phono preamp. And that'll go directly to this blue terminal block right here. We've got our power and our ground. All right, so all we have left to do is reconnect the ribbon and the other cables that we took out when we were taking this apart and test it out. There's our power, our ultra pitch, our white cable, and our red cable. Before you tighten this down, make sure there is no cables getting pinched. All right guys, so the base is installed. I've got my M447 put on. You shouldn't need a tutorial on putting a needle on. This does not come with the needle, just so you know. You will need to get your own cartridge, uh, but it's color coordinated, you guys know that. So yeah, last thing to do is test it. Let's uh, get some power and a record and see what this thing can do. All right, we've got power. Let's make sure that our ultra pitch isn't off. Here we go, moment of truth. <laughs> it works. All right guys, so there you have it. There's the installation of the all new Jesse Dean Design portable tone arm on the PTO one scratch. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. I will do my best to get back with you as soon as possible. And if you found this video helpful, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. As always, see you guys in the next one. Keep scratching, peace.